a rice exporting country, Vietnam, produces more or less 35 million tons of rice per year. In the Mekong Delta, Vietnam's largest rice basket, rice grinding processes generate a large amount of rice husk as a byproduct, whose total volume may top 3.6 million tons per year. To local people, rice husk is not waste. Instead, it is used to fuel kilns, producing bricks and pottery. This traditional craft creates hundreds of thousands of jobs in the Mekong Delta. However, traditional rice husk fueled kilns have low energy efficiency and seriously pollute the environment with their smoke emission. In response to complaints of pollution and the call for minimizing the global warming effect, the government of Vietnam has imposed a ban on traditional brick kilns as of 2010. Existing kiln owners have only two choices, either closing their businesses, which will result in massive unemployment, or switching to kilns using fossil fuel, which will require enormous initial investment. Lee Hong Viet doesn't think so. Director of Energy, an independent organization in the field of energy and resource management in Ho Chi Minh City, Viet has come up with an integrated solution of using rice husk gasification to address both the global emission issue and the local business one. Uh, the hot air will go through the first chamber in order to heat, heat up the, 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 the products. Then the hot air again go through the, 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 the third chamber for, for drying. Viet's project implements rice husk gasification together with a type of kilns called continuous four compartment kiln. Integrated together, the technology allows for controlled removal of exhaust byproduct while obtaining the government's mandate. Furthermore, it facilitates the continued use of rice husk or biomass as fuel instead of switching to fossil energy. The project also introduces the business model of energy service in order to facilitate the adoption of new technology. The global objective of the project is to reduce greenhouse gas emission by deploying a biomass technology to replace fossil fuel technology in the Argyll burning process. Gasification is not a new technology on its own, However, Viet's project is the first to implement rice husk gasification integrated with argil burning kiln in Indochina. In a sense, this project is somewhat like the egg of Columbus, a brilliant idea that seems simple after it's explained. Viet has not discovered anything of the scale of the Americas, but his project may help many people in the Mekong Delta retain their hopes for life in a less polluted environment.